We have a situation in the UK where, for example, black Caribbean children are three and a half times more likely to be excluded from school than their white counterparts, where black children are four times more likely to be arrested than their white counterparts. That's not an accident. That's not a series of individual decisions that are being made. There is an institutional problem. That has been widely recognised by the head of the Equality and Human Rights Commission and by successive governments as well. And what would be a real shame and roll back progress is if today we ended up in a situation where the government is seeking to downplay or deny the extent of the problem rather than doing what it should be doing, which is getting on the front foot and tackling it.